But before the firefighters can load up into the fire truck and leave the station, they have to get dressed for work. And a suit and tie is not going to cut it for this job. That's right. Firefighters have special gear they wear when they are going to battle a fire. And this special gear has a name, too. Do you know what you call the gear that firefighters wear? Well, let's find out. Well, what do you know? It's a turnout suit. Now, a turnout suit has lots of parts to it. So let's start at the bottom and work our way up to the top. OK, the first part of the turnout suit is the boots. The boots are made of a special rubber that helps resist fire. They also have steel plates at the front, which helps protect the firefighters' toes from sharp objects and falling debris. Once they get their feet into the boots, it's time for the pants. Firefighters always leave their boots tucked into their pants so they can put on both at the same time. How smart is that? The pants are called turn pants and are made of a durable, fire-resistant material. They are also big and heavy. In fact, they are so big and heavy, they need suspenders to keep them up. If they didn't have suspenders, this would happen. Now, after the boots and pants, it's time for the coat, called a turncoat. The coats have really big pockets in them so the firefighters can carry their tools. They also have a reflective trim, making it easier to see firefighters when in the dark. OK, we're almost dressed. After the boots, pants, and coat, it's time for the self-contained breathing apparatus. Wow, that's a mouthful. We can also call it an air tank. The air tank has a face mask that goes over, what else, the face. This is connected to the tank of air that is worn on the back. This little setup allows firefighters to keep breathing when in smoke-filled rooms. All righty. After the boots, pants, coat, and air tank comes the helmet. This is incredibly important because it protects their head. That's right, the cranium, the noggin, the old noodle. The helmet is made of a heat-resistant material and has a wide brim to help protect the face and neck from heat flashes and falling objects. OK, after the boots, pants, coat, air tank, and helmet comes the final part of the firefighter's gear, which is the gloves. The gloves are very tough, but yet soft enough to allow their fingers to move so they can carry hoses and help people during a rescue. So wheat, all dressed and ready to go. That sure is a lot of gear, isn't it? When a firefighter is completely dressed, they've added almost 60 pounds of weight. That's the same as carrying around three full-size watermelons. OK, now that they're all dressed with watermelons, uh, I mean their turnouts, it's time to load onto the trucks. <laughs>